Okay, so welcome, dear friends. For those who are joining this Mindful Friends group for the very first time, you are incredibly welcome. Thank you for taking the time to participate in this group. But first of all, for those I'm meeting for the first time, I'll reintroduce myself. My name is Eileen. I will be your facilitator for the next uh, seven weeks or more, depending on how long you choose to participate. I am dialing in from the Philippines, where I am blessed enough to be living on the land of my ancestors, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. And so if you're new to this space, you are welcome, whatever you bring to the table, whoever you are, all the different parts of yourselves, all the different relationships you bring where stress and anxiety are concerned. And I'm also aware that a number of you are new to Cloud Sangha itself. So I think it's a beautiful time to just reconnect with the vision and mission of this community and the guidelines it's committed to, to keeping its members safe. Okay, so for those of you who've been around for a while, it just helps to revisit these, okay? So the Cloud Sangha, we are a community committed to awakening together. Through the power of Sangha, we support each other in cultivating peace, awareness and love by integrating mindfulness into our daily lives. And as part of keeping each other safe, we respect the rights and dignity of all teachers and members, regardless of background or identity. We respect the privacy of all members and teachers, and we keep what is shared confidential. We commit to authentic, respectful, and mindful communication with all members and teachers. And so welcome. And I just want to emphasize that this is really designed to be peer-centered. So there's much less time, so to speak, for the guided practice, much less time for the teaching, quote unquote. My role here is really to facilitate and to help preserve the, the safety and the courage of these of the shared space. So most of the time is really going to be spent with your Sangha pod mates. So later on in the session, I will be breaking up into your pods, you're going to select that based on a pre-assigned number, and you will be spending most of your time in that pod uh, discussing the subtopic that I will be sharing briefly as well. And then we're going to come back together to quote unquote, harvest the, the insights, the observations, and to even uh, deal with any questions that came out from your small group discussion. Okay, I'll start with a guided practice. And the guided practice today is not actually going to be a meditation. It's a breathing exercise. And that's in line with the, the topic for today, which is to explore our embodied experiences of anxiety and stress. So the breathing exercise will be familiar to those of you who practice or teach yoga. In Sanskrit, it's called samavriti. In English, it's usually translated as equal parts breathing. It's very much like breathing normally, except it's slower. So I'll lead the first two to three rounds. I'll count four beats to the inhale, leave a slight pause and count four beats to the exhale. And then I'll give you some time to just practice on your own. Okay. To keep my instructions fairly streamlined, I'll give the cues as if you're sitting and you are free to stand, you are free to lie down, you are also free to walk. Okay, so without further ado, uh, just allow your gaze to be soft or if it's your preference to close your eyes, Allow your eyes to close. Let the spine be long and upright. Sense any parts of the body that might be tight or tense and just relax and release them as much as you can. And let's all exhale together first to synchronize our breath. And let's begin Samavriti. Inhale, two, three, four, Pause, exhale, two, three, four, pause. And so first, when someone is speaking, please just listen to them fully. You don't have to offer advice. You don't have to think of any way of alleviating their distress if they're distressed. And please refrain from posting crosstalk on the chat. And you can just trust that your full presence is more than enough 